Hey what is up guys, welcome back to a third person tower defense game tutorial. So in this episode, we are going to get rid completely of the keyboard. Not as in we're gonna remove guys, we're gonna leave it there, we can still use the keyboard, but now it is possible for us to never touch the keyboard once more. We are going to code a selection inside of that very menu, the game menu. So we can now navigate through this menu without having a mouse or a keyboard. And as you can tell, everything works fine, even if I press A, then we return to hub. I'm not even touching the keyboard right now, I'm not touching the mouse either. This is all done using the controller. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Alright, so last episode we've created some more inputs for the whole game in general, but uh, we have no way to actually use this menu if we're only using the joystick. Because to use this menu, we actually have to use our uh, mouse and just mouse over stuff. So what we're going to do today is actually map our input to these button whenever they're there. So, okay, the way we're going to do this is first, we are going to go ahead and find our canvas, our UI root in this case, and let's just enable the game menu so we can take a look at it. Now, what we're going to do is actually select each and every one of those buttons and change the highlighted color so we have a feedback whenever we select it. So I'll be putting mine on something quite visible, so maybe this kind of cyan here. I'll copy the X color and then just apply it to every single other buttons in this very menu. Like so. Okay, so now whenever they are selected, we should get some kind of feedback. We should get some kind of highlight. In fact, this highlight. So what we're going to do now is um, we are going to decide on which input are we going to use. And what I think is the best to use actually is simply the up and down. So that would be W and S on the keyboard and um, up and down on the joystick for the Xbox controller. Now if we open up the input manager, you're going to realize that we have no we have no means to actually tell are you hitting the joystick down uh, only once. You know, for the buttons, we can say, okay, so it is get button down. You get it at the moment it's being pressed, and it's not being called on the other frame if you're still holding the button. It's only when it's being pressed. Now, as for the axis, we don't get to have this kind of um, liberty over that because what we get is a float. So we're going to need to code our own input function in there. So in fact, what we really want is to treat the axis as a button. So whenever we we put our joystick towards the right. We want this to be acting as a button, so it only being you know it's only being called once. So what I'll do is actually go down in the button section and I'll just collapse all of these. And below everything, I will go ahead and declare myself a private static boolean that I'll call main left in use is equal to false. You'll see what this boolean does in a moment. But let's go ahead and code the very function. So what I'll be doing is um, I'll be making four of those for the future. First one being public static, that I'll call main left, which will stand for um, the main control input, so the main uh, joystick, the WASD on the keyboard, and left, which would stand for A in this case, or left on the joystick. Okay. Um, now, of course, on the keyboard, this is easy to do without actually making this kind of function because we can we can only say get key down A or get key down D, but we're, since we want to be using the joystick in the end, um, we're going to have to do this. So what I'll do is say if main, oops, main ver uh, horizontal is bigger than, say, a dead zone, I think our dead zone is 0 0.2, let's go ahead and put it up there as well. So private static float dead zone, whoops. And now we come back is bigger than dead zone. Oh, by the way, uh, boolean. Sorry about that. I'm coding a little bit too fast. So public static boolean main left. If it is bigger than the dead zone, then we're going to check if main left in use is equal to false or we could just be putting a exclamation mark in front of it. So if that is equal to false, then what we're going to do is say main left in use is now equal to true, and we're going to return true right there. 
else and this is the else for the first condition not the second one else will say main left in use is equal to false and we're finally going to return false as well okay so this is the code we're gonna be using let's go ahead and just copy all of this and we're gonna paste it for main right in use function name is going to be called main right and main horizontal is going to be um, smaller and what else oh yeah we got to change the field name in there as well here we go now as for up and down we simply have a few things to change so let's say main up in use is equal to false function name is main up we're gonna be using main vertical so main vertical is it bigger or smaller um, is smaller than that zone actually then we're gonna say main up and use is equal to true and false okay good one last time for the main down those are the ones we're gonna be using main up and main down I've main uh, I've did main left and right for a future so we might be using it in the future I don't even know but it's a good thing to have because this is the input manager after all. Okay, so we got these four new public functions. Let's go ahead and try them out. And how exactly are we going to do this? We're going to do this in our UI manager, but uh, first we've got some error, so let's take a look. Oh, I've had uh, two set of parentheses here for some reason. I'll probably have the same error in vertical, I mean down. okay right so now what we have to do is actually go in UI manager and code some kind of uh, selection code it's going to be really messy I don't really like making this code but it's um, necessary in this case so let's go down to the game menu region in there we are going to declare some new stuff first one being a private button array like so I call game menu buttons and finally a private int selected index which I'll just put on zero now I'm going to go in the initialize and update and I'm going to, to go down here and say um, game menu buttons whoops game menu buttons is equal to game menu object dot get components with an s in children's and we're getting all the button components like so so now our array of buttons should contain every single button in our game menu and what else could we be doing in there we are going to create some kind of update function because we're testing inputs so under update which is right here um, let's uh, let's go ahead and create some new functions so we are going to go down here back in the game menu say private void update game menu and I'll just copy this over inside of the update and also take this function right here the not the function but the uh, if statement we're gonna be putting that in our update game menu as well so cut that and paste it in here so now our update game menu function behaves just like a normal update because it's it's actually stored in there. So we first say if you press on the start button, go ahead and toggle this game menu and that is going to be fine. And then after that we'll say if game menu is not showing, so if exclamation mark game menu showing. So if it is not showing, go ahead and return because we don't need to do anything else if we don't see the menu. And then after that, we are going to go ahead and just start doing our selection. So if input manager dot main up, uh, if this happens, then go ahead and we are going to do selected index minus minus, like so. And then we are going to clamp it. So let's do if selected index is smaller than zero. If that's the case, then just go ahead and say selected index is equal to game menu buttons dot length minus one because this is zero base and the dot length is not okay and finally 
game menu buttons at the selected index dot select. Oops. Okay, and that's for the main up. Let's copy this over for the main down. So main down, selected index plus plus. And then if it is bigger than the game menu buttons, oops, game menu buttons dot length, if it's bigger or equal, actually, so if it's bigger or equal than length, then we're going to say selected index is equal to zero. Okay, I think we should actually be good to go. Let's try this code. Hopefully nothing breaks and our input works. So right now if I do up and down, it's not actually working and the reason is um, we're stopping on this if statement, this one, if game menu is showing. Because usually we're not supposed to see our menu like that. So we're gonna do like we usually do, we're gonna turn off that menu. So under UI root, go for game menu and then turn it off. So right now we get the usual start we're supposed to have. So this is the normal start. And as you can see, our highlight changes when I'm pressing up or down, but uh, there's obviously a problem somewhere because it is not working right now. It's not working properly. So we're going to go ahead and just look at our code and try to fix that. Okay, so our error is in the input manager. I went a little bit too fast when I did this. And um, under main left, everything is good. Now under main right, we say if main horizontal is smaller than zone, that's 0 0.2 we should be saying minus 0 0.2 so make sure you put the negative sign in front of that um, that is for main right now if we go a little bit down here um, this is inverted so I gotta be saying if main recall is bigger than the dead zone then we keep on going with this everything is fine and the main down is also inverted so we just say if main vertical is smaller than minus dead zone like so so we had errors in uh, the both function we're using, so that's that's uh, why we couldn't do it. So now back in our game, I'm going to press start. And as you can tell by the sound of my joystick, this actually works just fine. Now let's try with the keyboard. So up, 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 down, down, down. Everything sounds good. And now if I use my joystick once more and I try to press on the A button, say for the exit to desktop, Nothing works because it is not, um, exit to desktop doesn't work until we actually build the game. So let's do return to hub instead. So I'm going to press A. And as you can see, we're back in the hub. So right now, I'm not even touching the keyboard at all, and I'm able to control the whole game. So I've just found some minions. And so I press start, restart. Here we go. Now resume also works, obviously. And I can go ahead and just spawn some towers now and have some fun. Never touch the keyboard again because we do not need them anymore. And the final thing we need to do right now is actually map something to this very menu. So uh, whenever we hit defeat or victory, we always get the return to hub button. And uh, we need to actually highlight this button so we can actually select it. So whenever we lose or win, let's go ahead and highlight that very button. So under UI manager once more, we are going to find the menu that pops whenever we actually win or lose. So I think it is called the recap information. Yep, so here it is. That is a recap information. We decide is it victory or defeat. And then we send it the text. We're gonna go ahead and say recap info dot get component and we're gonna get the button component. Now let's just make sure that it is part of this. So where is recap info? Here it is. Does recap info, no, it does not contain a component. So what we're going to do is get component in children since it is the only button we have in there. So get component in children, we're getting the button component. Then we're going to do dot select just like this. And now everything should be good. Let's go ahead and press start. We have not changed the highlight color. So um, I'm going to test it out without the highlight color out after that. We'll see if we need one. So where's our lives at? Over here, hit point, we've got eight, six, four, two. And here is the menu. Now I'm going to hit A. And as you can tell, we had the uh, button selected. 
because my A button worked on this. So let's go ahead and change color um, of that button. Recap info, return to hub button, and the highlighted color is now a cyan. Alright guys, so that's going to be pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you learned something or if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. And uh, also sorry about the... I haven't made a video in a long time about this game. Because we wanted to finish the mobile game tutorial ASAP. Uh, which we've done now, so we're back on the third person tower defense game. Alright, so if you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Else I will be seeing you in the next episode.